Hey guys, Mark from Coffee Glass. If you've got an Android device, you've probably heard of Nova Launcher. What I'm going to be doing today is just giving you some tips and tricks to get the best out of what is possibly one of the best launchers out there. So let's get to it now and take a look at Nova Launcher. Okay then guys, so the first thing that you want to do is you're going to want to head over to the Play Store and download Nova Launcher. It's a completely free download, although there is a paid version which is Nova Launcher Prime, which does have some additional features and some things that you can't usually do. So it's going to be at the very top of the list, you're going to have Nova Launcher and Nova Launcher Prime, and like I say, all you want to do is just download them and they're going to be on the device. Then the next moment that you press the home button, you are going to be asked if you want to use Nova Launcher or your stock launcher that comes pre-installed on the device. Now the way to access as the settings of Nova Launcher, you can either double tap on the screen, or I like to have it just in my app tray up in the top right hand corner where you can go straight into the Nova settings themselves. So what we're going to do now is just go into a bit more detail with Nova, just in terms of what you can or can't do. So you can see here from the list that there's a lot of things that you can do with Nova launchers from the desktop to the app drawer to the dock, even affecting things like folders and the look and feel of the device in terms of margins around the edge of the screen and things like that. So you can see from the launch that it is very, very detailed and I'm going to not necessarily go into a lot of detail with how to use it. I'm mainly going to leave just showing you what you can or what you can't do with the launcher. So you're going to see here the main menu which you can access by either double tapping on the screen or going into your app tray. Now you're going to have obviously the desktop which is things like changing how many home screens you have, persistent search bar and also things like the scrolling effect between different windows. Now I've only got one home screen on mine so that doesn't really matter too much but if you're the kind of person that does like having multiple different home screens then you're going to really be able to like the integration of trying to switch between and just in general how you're going to be doing it. Now next up we're going to have the app drawer which again is very simple to the home screen in terms of seeing how many apps you want to have, hiding certain apps, the background transparency and again the scrolling effect either vertical or horizontal. And in terms of the actual dock as well, you're going to get some new customization features here that weren't previously in Nova Launcher. So you can change things like the shape of the dock, the color, the transparency, things like that to get that perfect dock that you want. So you can kind of customize it exactly how you want or you can if you want just get rid of the dock altogether. In terms of folders within Nova Launcher there's not a whole load of settings here it's just mainly changing how they look on your home screen and again things like the background transparency. Now the main folder to me is the look and feel so you can do things like changing the icon packs, changing app animation in terms of opening and closing and also the screen orientation locking it to either landscape or portrait mode which is really really nice so if you do have maybe a nice wallpaper that you want then you've got the option to use that. Now in terms of the gestures as well, in terms of pinching and zooming or scrolling, you can really use a lot of different gestures within Nova Launcher to do certain things, either opening apps and things like that. Now the unread count is something that you're only going to get with Nova Prime. So basically it gives you a iOS style dot on an application, for instance the telephone, saying how many missed calls you've got. Now the better thing about this compared to iOS is that you can customize it. So you can either have a square, a circle, changing the different colors and things like that. And like I say, all you do is click on the bottom and it will take you straight to the link on the Play Store where you get basically the extension for using it within Nova Launcher. But to be honest guys, the best way to get a feel for Nova Launcher is to download it and have a play around yourself. It's very simple, very easy to do and anyone really can use it. Like I say, there's a lot of customization features and it's completely free of charge which I personally think is the best bit about it. I'm Michael from Copy of Glass and I'll catch you guys in the next video.